It's been talked about for decades. Should Cincinnati and Dayton merge? Well, you can see the metropolitan statistical areas here behind me. The Cincinnati area, of course, in yellow and Dayton up in red. Nine on your side is exploring, though, if a metro merge can really be a reality. Our continuing series, Move Up Cincinnati, focuses on regional growth and transportation. Nine on your side's Lisa Smith tells us what it would take to make the merger happen. Cincinnati and Dayton, the two largest cities in southwest Ohio. As separate metropolitan areas, Cincinnati ranks in the top 20s, Dayton the 70s. But together... If you put the get two together, and, and, and I'll use the term merge, but we're talking the same thing, mm -hmm. then it's the 18th largest in the U.S. Yeah. with over 3 million people. Joe Henson is president of the Westchester Liberty Chamber Alliance. He's hoping to see the federal government merge the two cities' metropolitan classifications. But it's up to the census and the Office of Management and Budget. A, a big um, part of the criteria is commuting with workforce. Construction jobs are one area that brings the two regions together. And industrial companies like these in Monroe also need workers. That's part of the reason behind Butler County RTA's WorkLink bus service, where the rides between Westchester and Dayton are $2 each way. Monroe's new Amazon facility is one of the stops. There are a lot of things in place uh, that will that say that this is going to occur but we're surely at this point not sure about the timing. It comes down to hitting the threshold. For example, 25% of Dayton's workforce would need to commute to the Cincinnati area. The benefit is potentially more government funding. What we have found when cities have done this across the country, it's been sustainable and it's been something that has benefited all. And communities like Westchester and Liberty Township have seen tremendous growth over the last 20 years. In fact, Henson calls this area between 275 and 675 near Dayton the growth corridor. You think of a kind of a, a bullseye, if you will. It's the, the we call it the epicenter between the two major markets. Henson doesn't believe there are enough commuters to change the status during the 2020 census, but he thinks it'll happen. Inevitable? We, we surely think so. Lisa Smith, nine on your side.